Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Grim Dawn. Where we left off last time, we, uh, we're, we've taken Fork Icon. There was a little bit of a weird jittery thing at the end of, um, one of the videos, but ultimately it seems to have worked itself out, hopefully, because the next video after it worked just fine, even though it was recorded at the same time with no different settings, so kind of weird. Uh, we need to go acquire the Fang of the Bone Hunter. Uh, we have to recover the Lost Cannons in the Conflagration, which we haven't even remotely done yet. And we also need to put buffs on. I just realized that we don't have any. And what else do we have to do? We have to enter the Necropolis, which is our next... We are stuck. Next big thing. Let's just murder everything. We have a little ways to go, I believe, to get to the Necropolis. I also don't know where... Oh, Master Ravik is a uh, bounty, so we don't have to worry about that. That was one of the bosses we previously killed. I didn't uh, go to every bounty yesterday. Actually, in reality, I meant to do five bounties, like you're allowed to do per session or whatever. Um, but, unfortunately, I killed Ravik by accident because it's in the same spot as the previous bounty had been. And, uh, oh crap, need to heal. And he wasn't alive to uh, re-kill, and I didn't want to bother to go back, so that's what happened with that. No, oh, stop that. There. So we need to get to the Necropolis. I'm just going to follow the road for the most part until we get back to where we were. All of those guns are hurting. And also, there's mines literally all across this road. We are getting beaten down. I'm just gonna stand here and open fire until things die. Okay. So, we're almost back to where we need to be, sort of. I think they almost killed themselves by blowing up, which was kind of neat to watch. Alright. There's more road here. There's also something behind us. Flesh Hulks have way too much life. Okay. Alrighty, we're in a new area now. This is fresh, unexplored territory. Still just tons of enemies, though. Just killed the Ironside Hulk. That's a slightly different version of the Flesh Hulk. Oh, that's cool. That's like a proto tank. There's a whole lot of enemies in there. We'll help clear it out. Looks like some Black Legion. This place is a nightmare of ethereal and. Well, it's mostly ethereal, actually. The Plains of Strife. Screw you and your shotgun things, they hurt. Wait, do I need some healing constitution stuff. You know what we haven't seen for a little bit, weirdly? Is uh, a champion mob or hero mob or whatever you want to call it. Kinda odd. Or a shrine for that matter. I probably missed a couple shrines in like secret areas, but... Usually there's at least one or two they give you as a freebie. That's a giant wall. I'm guessing that's an necropolis. I'd hazard a guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this obelisk as fast as possible. It's dead. I didn't grab the emerald. It did not die, it came back to life. I think it died that time. That's two lives, apparently. I can't do we were getting killed by... Mines? We're fine. 
They have for like 600 a shot or more. It's hard to tell. It's a lot though. Let's we'll see if this is where we're supposed to go, and if it is, we'll go a different way. It's really looking like a necropolis entrance, though. That is completely correct. Okay. I'm gonna put up a rift gate here, just in case we end up dying. Because we're quite low on constitution. Nothing up there. Back to life thing, so just do it so I can kill you. Alright, problem solved. I think that's pretty much the end of our expl or exploration in this area, except maybe here. It's hard to tell. Why are there so many? Can I blow these up? Nope. You just have to kind of dodge them, or just walk over them. Either way. I'm just gonna check back around here for one second. It almost looks like there's a secret. No, I guess not. All right, so where are we at? We're gonna quickly check in on that other side, check down there, and then we'll head into the necropolis, kill some things. We gained about 40% of a level or so. Apparently that's nothing. We have Gone in a circle that we can't get through. We we're also completely out of constitution, so I don't know what that's going to do for us. This is a Chthonic Rift. Is this the one we've been to, the Obsidian Throne? I think it might be. I'm just going to check. It definitely is. So, we know where one exit isn't, and it's that one. Isn't there an exit right around here somewhere? We're gonna make our way out of here as fast as possible. I'd rather bring one over somewhere here. Although I do like this place way more than the gun toting guys we're fighting now. At least these guys you can get a good target on. Are you a portal down here? Nope. Excuse me, gentle. Oh, there's a. There's a hero mob. Let's kill him. It's been a while since we got some good loot. Oh, or even just any loot. Also, we got outcast. Uh, helpfulness or whatever. Reputation. That's the word I'm looking for. It's been a day. Maybe it's up over here. Like in this little area. I know there's one on this side somewhere that's an escape. At least I think it's an escape. Didn't actually go through it before. Should have memorized the portal locations. Oh, there's a chest for dynamite now. Although, it is only one dynamite. What if it's really good? Alright, you know what? We'll try it. Just because, why not? It wasn't that good. I'm a little bit disappointed. Okay, we need to find our way out of here. So we've done this place before. I guess we could just... Oh, we can't rift gate out, right? Doesn't work that way. Maybe it's over there. Ooh, we should have died. I guess dying is a way to get out, too, but not the best way. Not 
that's not a portal. Portals, where are you? Can't do that yet. Maybe over here. I don't know if we can mark on the map, but I should have marked something. I guess we. I know there's one portal. I know where one specific portal is, but it's going to be a bit of a fight to do. I guess we'll just do that one because it's one I 100% know where it is, and I can get out using it. Unless I find one on the way there. It's actually not this way, but it's close to this way. This way. Excuse me, everyone. Just coming through here. There we go. I know where this one is, at least. We can get out here. Potion, free some things, you know, do the things. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. And we're going to flat out ignore all the enemies and just charge the portal. Where's the portal? Does it not appear until he's dead? Oh, that would be very irritating. Fine, whatever. I guess it doesn't. Well, we're gonna. Hey, Aether Fire went up a level. at 100,000 left, 95, 93, 88, 80, 70, something, something, 50, 40, 20, 13, 8, 7, 2, 0. There's the portal. Empowered crown of infernal gems, that sounds cool, but we're going to get out of here now. Should have gotten that food while I was here. I just noticed it as I went to the portal, but whatever. Too late now. Alright, let's see what's over on this side, and then we can go into the necropolis, finally. We accidentally killed a boss. There's a lot of aether things here. And that charge hurts like hell. Like, way too much. That was a hell of a lot of damage in one go. Um, it might be faster just to walk out the front gates, in all honesty. We're not that far from where we died. Stupid chargey dudes. Definitely need to buff my defenses more somehow. So I'm not sure what we got. What was the crown we got? Uh, nope. The Empowered Crown of Infernal Gems. It is a soldier thing, I guess. Seems like a weird thing for a soldier thing, but whatever. Guess that's not my call. A crown just sort of thing it seems like a magey thing in these type of games. Helmets are more soldier things. Stupid freaking trees. Trees are literally the bane of my existence. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna fire into all these frozen guys. None of the hits hit because there's a stupid tree in the way. And we also need to, uh... sell things. Which I might just pause the video to do. In fact, once I get the body back, just so that everyone has peace of mind, I get the body back. I'm just going to quickly run to town, sell some stuff, and then we can come do the necropolis. I walked right by my body, didn't I? I did. Alright, we've retrieved some experience. I'll be back in a couple seconds. I'm just going to go back to town, sell some things, and then we will go up to the necropolis. Back shortly. Alright, I'm back. I cleared out this area. There was really nothing in it, aside from those monsters, which dropped some fairly garbagey loot. It's time to go up to Necropolis, finally. Which I think is just straight this way, somewhere. Right up the road. Uh, we need our buffs, of course. That elemental has a really good shield. 
Alright, let's go kill some undead, which may have less... Oh no, it's all ether. All ether all the time. There's a lot of creatures in this doorway. It's a good thing they just came straight at us, though. There is a rift dead ahead. Tome amending. Check the other side, which doesn't look like it has too much. Maybe a chest? Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. Let's go secure the rift itself. But before we do that, let's set up our own rift. Oh, okay, so we have to set or we have to secure the inner necropolis one, which this is not. This is the outer necropolis one, which is fine. Whatever. It's all good. The commission of the Necropolis, page one, and some human remains, which have become a food ration. I'm not saying that we just ate a person's remains, but we possibly did. There's a shrine up ahead, I can see it. This is a cool area for sure. It's like a... It's almost like an indoor dungeon outside because of the way that the pathing is done. It's neat, elegant. Everything's almost dead. He'll die. There's a chest here. Not particularly good. That's blocked off. Let's go over here. There's a couple block paths. There's just some enemies hiding in this block path. Just having... Actually, they were smoking the weeds. They're hiding behind the corner in this little alcove area. Just huddled up. They for sure were doing the marijuanas. When I used to work in probation, uh, one of the biggest fights people would have, and I don't know why this is such a huge thing between, like, and it's different between every manager, but it was the spelling of marijuana uh, with either an H or a J, and it was just like this huge thing. Because if you switch managers and they spelled it a different way, and you spelled it whatever way your previous manager said to spell it, then it'd be just another fight, an argument over why, and it's like, Jesus, can we just not be consistent about this? The answer was no. You could not be. These guys aren't so bad. I'm gonna be pushing my shield on and then just kill them. Chains of the Hungering Void, that sounds amazing. Is that a belt? It is a belt. But it's not really good for us. What's a cerulean shard? Hang on, I'm gonna take a look at that in a sec here too. We just have so much stuff. There's so much loot in this game, which I do love. It's better than no loot, that's for sure. The Chains of the Hungering Void are definitely more of a chaos, physical damage type thing. The cerulean shard is that lightning damage amulet we've gotten before. Okay. Oh! At least we know that there's a Set limit of items, because we're getting some duplicates every so often. What are those things? Possessed Archmages. They look weird with all their shields on. They kind of look like a... Like a blown up pufferfish, kind of, with all the spikes protruding from it. There's another type of creature that's kind of like that. You know what it kind of reminds me of, actually? I, um... What this thing's called? From Sunless Skies and Sunless Sea, I believe they're both in it. It's gonna bug me now. Oops. Um, flukes! The flukes from Sunless Sky slash Sunless Sea. 
That's what they kind of remind me of. We get a I think that was just a loot one, right? Not a devotion point one? Okay. There are stairs that lead up to something over here. Uh, possibly a way to loop around back to the other side. So that we can explore the whole thing in one go instead of having to go two different branching paths. Try and loop around first to see if that's the case. These are Chthonian champions. That thing hits really hard, that bloodletter. Lots of damage. We're getting close to a level, though. Uh, it does look like it loops around. Perfect. So let's just quickly explore this little area here, then. I'm hoping this is just a small partition. And we can just be complete, although that might not be the case. Those obelisks hit pretty hard too, I gotta say. Alright, Aether Shards, Aether Crystals everywhere. There might be something at the end of this path, I'm gonna go check it out. There's something back here, that's for sure. There's a dead body in some sort of arcane circle. We can't go that way or that way. So is this the end of our path? Just this little area? It does appear so. Alright, let's head back the other way. Alright, time to murder some more things, I guess. Kinda wanna gain a level before we end the video. Gotta figure out which way is north again. So I want it to be like this. There we go. That is a Esperia, and it is definitely a hard one to kill. 55, 54,000 Esperia hit points. Oh, there's another Ethereal Shard thing here. Obelisk. Whatever just hit me, that hit pretty hard. Oh, is that another one of stupid abominations? Those things hit like freight trains. They can be frozen though, and we can shield. It's a really good idea to shield though, because they hit very. That attack specifically hits very hard. Yes, retreat and die. Alright, we're good. That's a... Some sort of... Kiro monster? Cannot be frozen. Can be just beaten to death, though. Running through another one of these. This one's not a secret. I don't think. We can try one more time. It seems we're immune to it. I don't know why it's not hitting us. I'm okay with whatever the reason is behind that, but it is kind of weird. Okay. And that's a... Okay, let's see. That way should be... Oh, well, it's pretty much north-south. We're pretty close to being on point. 
crypt entrance down that way, so I think we're going... I guess just group up. Let's go explore the rest of the outside first. There's bound to be just tons more enemies. And something. A cursed smith named Horus. Can't do that yet. Did he try and lead a heresy? Or is he an Egyptian pantheon? God? I guess we'll find out. Also, it's commonly, I think, in Egyptian and Warhammer 40k Horus is only spelled with a one R. Pretty sure. And this one clearly has two. All right, let's go talk to you, Horus. What's up? Oh, you're, you, you craft things. What can we build? Actually, before we do this, I know we have a couple of patterns chilling around. I also have a helmet I might use later, but it's level 55, so it's a little bit off in the distance. All right, what do you got? Tremor, not useful. Wand, not useful. No. Okay, how about this stuff? That transcendent relic is very nice. Plus one to all skills and arcanist. I want it. But we don't have Glacier, Corruption, Equilibrium, Haunted Steel, or Aether Steel Bolts. We do have an Aether Soul. We're missing just everything else. It's possible we have some of the other things sitting in our bank. Slash storage, but we'll check that later because I am kind of I kinda of do want that thing. It's pretty good. For it's better than our current relic, and plus one to all skills is going to help us no matter what. It'll give us more damage, more uh, more requirements, costs down, more energy, more damage reduction. I think I already said that, though. What is this? There's clearly a glyph. Everything's dead. Okay, let's go back and look at that glyph, because that was pretty interesting. We're not going to level up this video, probably. Unfortunately, it's just not in the books. But what is this? Nothing we can do with it, so I guess it's just atmospheric. Alright, I think I'm going to leave you guys here. In the next video, we'll continue killing our way through this area, and we'll gain a level, and then we'll go to the inner sanctum, and then we'll do whatever's in there. I'm sure there'll be many things to do. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.